Nationally, in terms of research work, there is a lack of representation around diversity in either contributing from research or influencing research. That's why we run these roadshows in Northwest London. The aim of the project is to encourage diversity in research. And it's only by getting people involved in research that we can actually also improve health outcomes for black and minoritised communities. The ARC, otherwise known as Applied Research Collaboration, aims to accelerate the pace that we get research into practice. The whole point of the ARC is to get, when we've got research, is how do we work with our different colleagues? Could be NHS, could be local authority, could be communities, could be voluntary sector organisations. And one of the big areas that we've worked on is this project, the ICS REN project. The REND programme aims to tackle the underlying causes of health inequalities by engaging local people in conversations about the barriers to health. One of the reasons community engagement has become so important now is because of COVID. COVID really highlighted to us the health inequalities between different demographics. We know that COVID disproportionately affected Black and Asian individuals. So it's really important for us now to work with our communities, to build relationships, to build trust so that people feel that they can come forward and access health and social care research. We know there's big issues around access to healthcare, people accessing the GPs. That's why the roadshow is so important because people can have their health checks. We're here doing BMI checks, blood pressure checks, and providing them with loads of advice and resources so they can look to improve their health based on test results. I think the impact of the health checks today and any other day at the roadshows is huge. There's always been this talk of personalised care because when people have these health checks, it does make the patient feel more involved. Northwest London is a really important area to do research in because the population is so diverse. When we look at nationally at the demographics across England and Wales, we see that on average we have about 80% white population. But here in Northwest London, with our 2.4 million residents, some of our areas have populations that are 50% black, Asian, and ethnic minority. So if we can get it right for Northwest London, we can get it right for many other urban areas in the UK. Partnerships are essential. I think as a voluntary sector organisation ourselves, we see the value and the benefit in working with partners, especially in circumstances where we're trying to reach um, marginalised communities, sometimes where language is a barrier, sometimes where geography is a barrier. So going out into the community is essential to get people coming and taking part in events like today. Partnerships are really important. Working with the community is really important. And it's important in terms of research, especially for the community referred to as the marginalised community, is that we receive services differently. Often people say, oh, why is it that, you know, these communities don't access services? But it isn't that we don't access services, it is that the, the um, services are not accessing us or not accessing us in a way that works for us. And it's important to name it, to say that actually, there is institutional racism and that often isn't said out loud. People kind of skirt around it uh, and talk about the high prevalence of conditions in the black community as if it's just by default, but it often is by design. It's logical to come to local community centres like this to learn and grow, you know, in terms of the NHS. If you genuinely want progress, if you genuinely want to eradicate many of the differentials that takes place across various communities. The Research Heroes study is a study that has been co-designed with champions like Hadja here, um, who is from the Northwest London area. They have co-designed this research study along with Imperial College London to find out the barriers for underserved communities connecting and reaching research. We designed it and conducted the Research Heroes study to find out the barriers that prevent majority of people from being involved in the research studies. We uh, interviewed a large sample of the community who are underrepresented and some of the barriers uh, like language, uh, literacy, 
uh, mistrust and even uh, people are complaining that they cannot understand uh, the complex and difficult uh, medical terminology. The study is really quick, it's just a survey, it takes around 10 minutes and it's available in over 11 different languages. And we hope we can start to use the data from this study to really create change locally for communities and how they can access uh, research and the type of research that's taking place for them. Research is key among our communities so we can share our views, we can share our concerns, making sure that the services are shaped to our needs rather to the universal needs. So researching will bring us enough data um, to know what the community is looking for. The motto for the roadshow is just health in your hands because we want to put the health in the hands of our residents and our patients so they feel empowered and more importantly build the confidence of people. We're coming to the end of the programme so we aim to do about 20 and I think we're going to come up with about 22 roadshows in the end. 1,600 people have come which we are very happy with. Of those 1,600 people, 600 have had a health check. And also of those 1,600 people, 800 have completed a questionnaire. There's some historical context that prevent people trusting researchers and that creates a real barrier. But by having that blended approach of community partners and clinicians working together, we break down those barriers.